Investigators surrounded this Sunset Park apartment building tonight, collecting evidence from a grisly crime scene in a second floor apartment. Police say this blood covered hammer was used to bludgeon a 43 year old mother to death and then critically injure her two young children. It was horrific and a senseless act of violence which took the life of a married mother of two. Police are still trying to piece together what happened, but they say the mother and her children rented a bedroom in the same apartment where the attacker also lived in a room with his child. Sources say there was a dispute of some sort. Local officials say it might have been over the rent. So something have to trigger for the father to cross that the morality, the moral line have to be crossed. The man apparently became so irate, he swung that hammer at the mother and then turned on her kids, beating them as well, with his own child still in the apartment. And the five-year-old son and the three-year-old daughter are fighting for their lives. And again, on behalf of New York City, everyone here, our hearts uh, go out to this family. Police quickly caught the attacker exiting the building covered in blood. There is shock and grief spreading in this largely Chinese community tonight. It was shock. I have never seen anything so gruesome or anything bad among the Chinese community. There is also a call for people to stop sharing a cell phone video of the children after the attack, which we have chosen not to show. It was a video I saw circulating of a police officer holding a, a, a child bloodied limped. They're younger kids and it's blood all over on their face. They need to stop sharing those images. Police say the two children are a little bit more stable now than they were before, but they are still fighting for their lives tonight. The attacker we now know is 47 years old and charges are still pending. Reporting from Sunset Park, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.